Hey, and welcome back. It's your girl, Sky with InStyleAtlanta.com. And in case you haven't noticed, I've got this fine gentleman sitting next to me. Thank you. Oh. Yes, and his name is Jamel Howard. And I know you guys know this because you watch Power, and you may have seen his face grace your screen. Now, Jamel, it is a pleasure to be sitting next to a working and amazing actor. Oh, thank you, thank you. Because acting is not as easy as what some people may think it is. Definitely not as easy. Um, some people, you know, uh, well, me, I just, I meet so many people, and I've lived in so many places that I've, I've been able to tap into different characters by pulling characters that I've met. And so that's one of the things I want to talk about. Um, I want to talk about your journey mm -hmm. um, because being an actor, and I think being a great actor, means you pulling everything that you've learned and taking along, along with you on your journey. So can Absolutely. we talk about that journey to you deciding, you know what, I think acting is what God has intended for me. Yeah, I was um, I was in the music business for a while. I, I was um, a signed artist, and um, just wasn't making the money. And I seen that the money wasn't you know wasn't flowing. So um, I, I got approached with an opportunity to to do something to uh, to basically meet some management, and uh, they wanted me to to book something on my own first. So yo, know, you know, you go out if you book a uh, a commercial or book something like from an open audition then give me a call so I went out on like a Burger King audition and I booked it so I called him like yo I booked something like you know, who know? and then um, he was like alright and he sent me on a few auditions I booked like the first four or five auditions he sent me on and it was like that was this is it you know nobody books the first four or five and you know my first movie was with Jodie Foster like, she was like the highest paid actress at the time so it was like, all right, maybe this is what I was supposed to be doing. You yeah, know? that's definitely not a small feat to, to book mm -hmm. a role with such a major actress like Jodie Foster. Mm -hmm. Now, you said you were an artist, a music artist beforehand. Now, have you had any formal acting training before? No, no, I just... So it's just natural. I'm an Aries. You know, we just jump in. We jump off the cliff and put the parachute together on the way down. You know, that's what we do, so... That's what happened. I just j jumped right in. Everybody was like, oh, you're doing a good job. But a lot of the beginning parts, you know, it's easy to pull characters like that because they were, you know, a lot of gangster roles. And I was, I'm from, you know, a gangster area, mm -hmm. you know. So it was, it, it was easy to pull those type of characters. But I was waiting to see if I can get challenged, you know. And then, um, then a, a couple other roles came up and gave me an opportunity. So now I want to talk about the challenges because I know it is difficult and you had to pull from within. So how did you, you know, and, and well, first off, I want to talk about what, what were the characters that was such a challenge and then how did you prepare for those roles? Oh, um, well, one, uh, one that was a challenge was, uh, was the Luke Cage role, um, Shamik role that is, uh, in Luke Cage. And, um, I basically prepared for it by, uh, I, I just, first I watched a lot of Marvel, like anyway, so I, I read up on Luke Cage and, you know, he's one of the first black mm -hmm. superheroes of Marvel, so I was, I was already intrigued, but so, so I just read up on, a little more on him and, and the people that, the characters that was, you know, that was around him in the actual comic books and, and things like that, and, um, and I got a feel for it, it was, they wanted to be real up, up, uh, well, basically, up to date street, you know, mixed with the comic book, you know, the traditional comic book. But um, so I just, you know, found a couple characters that, who, in my head, when I was reading it, who I thought were similar, and and I just brought them to the, you know, brought them to the script. So, do you do your own stunt work? Is any stunt yes. involved? Yeah. Oh my goodness, the stunt work. <laughs> and I, one scene is um, the we in the junkyard, and I got the two Desert Eagle guns, and I spin around and just start shooting. That's and it looks real simple, but we doing it seven hundred times, like back yeah. rewind, yeah. do it again, to the point where. My hamstring. <laughs> I had to hit it a couple times. Like, hold on, hold on. There's a hamstring giving out, you know, because that spin and you just keep spinning and keep spinning, and then after a while, it's like, oh, you know. But it, it was fun. I had a, I had a ball doing it. So now, what is it like connecting? And I, and I've, I know you've worked with 
I'm sure directors who you've just really had a connection because I think that's also important when you're acting. Yeah. What you mean? That, so my question is, you know, um, let's just talk about chemistry on the oh, set. Oh, yeah, Because, you know, sometimes that can be difficult when you don't have that chemistry, chemistry yeah. with someone. Well, especially, you know, with a director first, it starts with them. Um, like, for instance, The Brave One, uh, the movie with Jodie Foster, um, when I met the director, Neil Jordan, you know, he's done a lot of work. Um, and Neil, you know, he's from London. So when I first met him, he's just looking at me like, you know, sizing me up and, it's like, how would you like to get shot by Jody Foster? <laughs> it's like, I would love to get shot by Jody Foster, you know. So he, he was cool, man, cool dude. And um, from that moment, we kind of clicked. And he even uh, actually paid my way into the union oh, wow. to get into the yeah, union. Yeah, that's pretty expensive. Yeah, it is. And and you know, they were. I was. Uh, I was. Uh, I believe my status was a must join. So I couldn't even finish the project unless somebody paid for me. So everybody called around, like, listen. You know, the, they, the the union is saying you have to pay it again. You know, they took care of it. So they, Neil took care of it. So he must have had some incredible faith in you and, yes. and saw qualities in you. So that's got to be a great yeah. feeling because so many actors, that's what they're working towards. And it's mm -hmm. so hard. And it just seems like the breaks have just, yeah. you know, just been bestowed. Here you go. Well, I mean, you know, my thing is this. Um, I believe that you lay you lay foundation uh, for your future, for what you're doing now. So things that I've done brought me to that point. So it wasn't, it, it was never like things just let, fell out in front. It was by chance. I, you know, I believe that it was meant for me to do that. And it was meant for him to do that as well. You know, so um, every, you know, the things you're doing now is going to lay out, lay out the bricks for you later.